Hi guys. So let's go through this physics problem together. So the question reads, a hockey puck, it's supposed to be a puck, is okay. A hockey puck with an acceleration of 2.6 meters per second squared is sliding down a 12 meter uh, frictionless ramp. Okay. So the first question is asking us to find the angle of the ramp. So let's uh, roughly draw a diagram to show what is happening. So assuming this is our rough ramp, like this, then we have an angle theta, it is theta we're looking for. Then we have this pack here, which is sliding downwards. So it's our pack sliding downwards. So it's frictionless, uh, meaning that there is no friction acting on this object. Okay. So, given this information now, let's see the forces acting on this uh, pack. Number one, we have the two components of weight, which is mg cos theta, as well as mg sine theta, in that direction. Then we have the normal force, like that. Then here we have friction force, of which... Since it's frictionless, where there's friction, we'll just come and uh, replace it with a zero. So the reason why I'm putting friction in this direction is because friction will always oppose motion since it is going down. So in an event that this question uh, wasn't frictionless or the surface wasn't frictionless, then you'll put friction in that direction. Okay. So now, let's sum the forces in the X. We're going to take it like this. This is our x and this is our y axis. So, using Newton's second law of motion, we know that it states that force is a product of mass times acceleration. Then we are just assuming that uh, we're looking at the forces in the x, like that. Then, of course, we are summing them. Okay. So from there, we're going to say how many forces do we have in the in the x-axis, we only have this force, friction force is zero. So the force we have is mg sine theta minus friction is equal to mass times acceleration. So since friction is zero, what we have is simply mg sine theta, friction is zero, so this whole thing is equal to mass times acceleration. So this is question A. Can get rid of mass by dividing both sides by m so mass cancels meaning that what we have is simply uh, g sine theta is equals to a like that remember we're looking for the angle theta so sine theta is equals to a over g now, since we want the angle, what we're going to do is we're going to say theta will be equals to the second function or the inverse of A over G, like that. So if you look at our question, we have been told that acceleration is uh, 2.6 and we know that acceleration due to gravity is uh, 9.8. So theta will be equals to sine inverse acceleration 2.6 acceleration due to gravity 9.81 so theta is equals to so let's complete this now make sure your calculator is in degrees so the inverse of sine 2.6 divided by 9.81 i found 15.4 degrees 15.4 degrees as the angle that we're looking for. Okay, so if we go back to our question now, we found the angle. The next question says, how long does it take the pack to reach the bottom? So now we're looking for the time taken. So this is what I'm going to do. So for part B, what we have in the question is acceleration. Our acceleration is 2.6. The other thing that we have is uh, the displacement. So x, the displacement is 12 meters. 
Then, since it was sliding down, we're going to assume that the initial velocity is zero meters per second. That's the assumption we're going to make. Then with this information, we can easily find the time. So finding the time, the formula we're going to use will be uh, x is equals to ut plus half at squared. So we know that x is 12, the displacement is equals to initial velocity is 0 plus half acceleration, we have 2.6 t squared. Okay, so if we multiply 2.6 times half, what we get is 1.3. So here we have 12, which is equals to 1.3 t squared. We divide both sides by 1.3, both sides by 1.3. So that t squared will be equals to 12 divided by 1.3, we get 9.23. 9.23. And then if we introduce a square root to both sides, the time is just 3.04 seconds. So this is how long it would take before reaching the bottom. Remember, the angle is this one here. The last question says, if the mass of the pack, this is supposed to be okay, sorry. If the mass of the pack is doubled, how does its acceleration change down the incline? Okay, so the idea here is, um, given that the mass of the pack maybe was uh, 12 kilograms, then it's doubled to 24. How does the acceleration change down the incline but ideally the acceleration will not change because in this problem uh, it is not being affected by mass because if you've noticed um, when we're doing finding the angle theta uh, mass had cancelled so mass does not have effect on the acceleration meaning that the acceleration doesn't change so we can write that mass has no effect on acceleration. Like I said, the reason why it has no effect is because if you remember, we divided both sides by mass and mass was not being used at any point because uh, the surface is frictionless. But if the surface had a certain friction, then mass would be, uh, of course, uh, it would uh, change the acceleration of this pack. So that's it. This is how we answer this question. Thank you very much.